hey now the next step is routes since we've set up a folder for routes a folder for controllers and models we need to first understand routes why because routes is the entry point of all the requests from browsers right it is the dictionary or it is the place where you get to know which controller function or action is to be called okay action might be a new keyword right now but we'll go through it soon so just taking a look at it for example there is one route which handles all the direct urls over here for example this could be home this could be contact or this could be about so these are all the about uh, all the core level or the root level routes root level urls but what if there is a set of urls which have a common parameter in them or a common part in them so common part say users now users slash profile users slash edit before that there would be users let's write it over here uh, users slash create okay and so on now you see this part is the common part now what if i just put all of these three parts and put it in one line and i said if it points to users then take me to another route file which is like users.js and there all these three create edit and profile are to be found okay this is why we divide the routes it could be users it could be posts as in facebook posts it could be likes it could be uh, comments everything has a create everything has an update everything has a delete right so for the first step let's just go ahead and set up the basic routes now uh, as mentioned earlier we are dividing our express controller and route into two parts let's see how it looks like okay all right let's just clear this and yeah i'll go to routes and i'll create a new file i'll name it index now this index.js is my entry point to all the routes if i look at it my app index.js this file will send in a request to my routes slash index and this will further route it to all different route files which would be there so initially we are just looking at this so we have created this index.js and there would be further files below this and those would be used for further routing okay further urls all right so i have index.js there is a module called express router how does it look like let's see express router okay now let's look at the documentation why we are looking at the documentation again the synonym of this course is how to google till now we've been doing this app.get app.get app.post now app.all means all the requests which are coming in all the methods okay get post put delete whatever requests coming in just point them to secret right uh, when, uh, when them uh, they are coming to secret point them to this function okay so if it is uh, get to secret post to secret or anything it will point to this function now moving further there is something called router in express so express dot router this is a module which helps me separate my app and my the app route and my controller so as you can see there is express router and router dot use then uh, router dot use is used for creating subdivisions no need to just get uh, overwhelmed by this this is just an explanation we'll be using it and we'll be getting more clarity there is router dot get just like app dot get was there the url and the function okay the url and the function this function is my controller i'm going to put it in another file which is going to be my controller file okay now let's come back and do a little bit of code over here i have uh, my vs code open and i'll just do this is index.js inside routes this file i'll create uh, close the other index.js so my index.js in routes what it will do is 
uh, it will import express or require express okay autocomplete is there to our rescue yes now one more thing to remember as i mentioned earlier every time i do require express it will not create a new instance of express it will just fetch the existing instance so when my app this index.js gets loaded this index.js also gets loaded both are calling express both are calling express express is created or required only once when this instance is created the same instance is passed on whenever i require express for the second time okay now the next step is um, constant router is equal to express dot router and i'll just call it okay all right and the final thing is that i need to do module dot exports is equal to router i need to export this to be available to index.js where are we going to use it we'll see that before that again exports and module dot exports till now we've learned that they do the same thing but herein it will not do the same thing if i just write exports is equal to router how we look at it later on but for now we'll do module dot exports is equal to router okay now once we have exported this router we need to tell app to use it remember we used to do app dot get app dot post so we need to tell app that all the get post and everything will be handled by this module now okay so the next thing which i need to do is let me just add a comment use express router okay and i'll do app dot use again a middleware before the server starts up it needs to access this route so app dot use and for any further urls which would be defined in this file i'm just routing the home part to it and i'll require i can directly require over here also dot slash dot slash means in the same path routes now i can just do routes or i can do routes slash index it by default fetches index so i can just do routes let's try running our server and see if there is any errors no it hasn't started up yet it is up okay server is running how do i know if this file was loaded let's do a console.log router loaded okay yes it is loaded okay this is how we set up our routes in the beginning i have told index.js to use these routes and i have set up this router now multiple further files uh, such as user.js or anything else would be accessible inside this it would be exported from that file and imported into this how we'll do it it is quite simple we'll just take a look at it in the coming videos all right just practice this part uh, there is nothing to visually see but in the next part we'll set up a controller and access it okay all right thank you